All right, I'm gonna do some square one example solves because um, it seemed like people liked my last one. And uh, I think when I made that, I averaged around 19 and I just recently got sub 15 global average. So I think I could give some better advice at this point. All right, um, I'll link the scrambles in the description. All right, this is a um, educational case, I would call it. Um, so you've got the fist on the bottom, and then the scalp, or that's not a scalp. I forget what that's called. I don't know these cube shape names very well, but <clears throat> this guy on the top, two paired edges. Um, so there's a neat cube shape case that's uh, useful to try to look for a lot of the time. Um, I'll show you how to get to it. So we've got... I would rotate first of all because I want, I think it's easiest to do this, or I'm just most used to doing this with uh, these two pairs on the left. I'm going to take this line right here, this two edge line, and pair it up top so I have these two three edge pairs. And we've got this <clears throat> like L shape on the bottom. And then we want to put two of these edge pairs next to that L right there so that we have these similar, I forget what those are called too. I think it's a paw, it might be a paw. So similar paw, paw. And so if you have this and you line them up like symmetrically on top and bottom and slice, you'll get fist, fist, which is obviously a really nice case. So you can just solve cube shape like that. Hopefully you followed that. Um, CO, I would do like that. Then we've got the adjacent, adjacent, EO. <clears throat> Um, not much to say about CP here, it's just obvious we got two adjacents, two, two bars on either side. And I don't know this case, I probably should by now, but um, it's a U-perm on top and an adjacent on bottom. So I would just put, <clears throat> I typically do the adjacent where you have an adjacent here and an adjacent here. And I would just put the opposite edge right there and the adjacent back here. And doing the adjacent adjacent algo would give me an adjacent parity on top. <clears throat> and um, I guess for AUF slash ADF purposes, I would start the alg with green in the bottom. And then um, the alg I normally use will flip the equator, so I'll cancel into flipping the equator with the bottom layer like this. Um, So normally you would do a, a negative three and then slice, but I'll do a positive three on bottom, slice, six on bottom, slice, and then all you have to do now is <clears throat> a U prime. Okay, uh, this is a fairly simple case. <clears throat> so um, I'd go for scalp kite. I think that should be pretty obvious. Um, try to do it efficiently though when you've got a case this easy you try to f like use your inspection to figure out the way to do it with least regrips or whatever <clears throat> so i'm going to make the, the kite on top because we've got this l here and an l right there so i would move this over right there move this up there like that and then you can do scalp kite like this um EO, I would do like this. Then we've got that I adjacent, which I'd do like that. <clears throat> um, so there's a technique I talked about in the last video where you can avoid like moving around layers to check what CP cases you have. It's obvious that we have a bar in front right now, so it's adjacent swap on bottom, but you can also tell that there's a bar on top because you can't see any green corner stickers on these three sides. And so to avoid having to do any U moves and look for a bar or whatever, you just know it's in back because these two stickers have to be green. So move that in front, just immediately go into the adjacent adjacent CP alg. And then this is a U perm U perm, which is nice. I also don't know the U perm U perm algs, but I think I can do this pretty much just as fast as I would be able to do those. Um, I would do <clears throat> opposite, opposite, like that, 
with uh, the solved pieces on either side, doesn't really matter. And then I would move immediately into adjacent adjacent and <clears throat> I'll cancel into a equator flip with the bottom layer. I know that the equator flip, if, uh, if I do it with like slice six, six on the bottom, um, it'll do a U or do a D two overall when I finish doing the equator slice. And I see that I have this, I've got red in front and this is U two'd away from being solved. So I'll do this adjacent adjacent. And then before the last slice, I'll do a six slice six slice. And then that makes AUF ADUF pretty smooth. Um, this is another fairly interesting cube shape case if you're trying to get into advanced cube shape, not just going for scalp scallop or scalp kite all the time. Um, the way you can do this is <clears throat> there's a there's a case that you that is one slice away from barrel barrel, and we're one slice away from that case. So if you line up like just make the barrel symmetric on the bottom, the scallop symmetric also, and then slice. We've got this case where you have three, one, one, three. And so um, if we just solve this such that we're putting, I, I think I would have to do a six and then put one of these lines, so like a two edge line on the bottom next to this two edge line, then we would get barrel, barrel. That's just how I, how I think about that every time. And then barrel, barrel is very easily solved. Um, CO is simple enough in this case, just D2 slice. We've got another line adjacent, which I would do like this. Um, yeah, there's another case where I can tell that it's an obvious bar in front, so we have adjacent on top, but um, I can see that we don't have any orange corner stickers on either of these faces, so there has to be two orange corner stickers in the back making a bar, so another adjacent adjacent CP. So I'll do a D2, move straight into that. Um, okay. Uh, it's not parody, but this is still a pretty terrible case. Uh, we've got O on bottom, or o, o perm on top, W on bottom. Um, I don't know if anyone can really blame me for not knowing this one, because it's a pain, but I would do an adjacent. No. Hmm. What's the best way to do this? I'll do an opposite swap. If you do an opposite swap, you'll do a, you'll end up with a Z perm on top. If you do an opposite swap on an O perm, you get a Z perm. And then uh, it turns a, no matter how you do it to a W perm, it always turns it into a U perm. So opposite, opposite, top and bottom. So we got Z on top, U on bottom. I'll put this opposite edge right here. And then just whichever one of the, these adjacent swaps right here. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Putting this opposite over here doing adjacent adjacent and then we've just got one more adjacent adjacent to do moving this right there and then this one over there u2 auf so this is really similar to the cube shape case we had for the first solve it's just one slice away one slice ahead i guess of that first cube shape case so i don't think i really need to need to explain it um we could look at a way to make it more efficient. Eh. Not really sure what would be more efficient. We could, it's probably best to keep it just so that we're only moving one layer. If we wanted to do it with orange in front, we'd have to move two layers, like both top and bottom. But in this case, we can just do it by moving the top layer like that. So we have these two pairs to be ready to be put down here. And then we've got those two identical shapes. And then go to fist, fist, kite, kite. Oh, uh, we've got a really easy EO or CO and EO skip. If you can tell, we've got this full half square here, full half square here. So slice up like this. Um, that's a nice EO skip. Um, so you can tell that we've got adjacent or uh, opposite CP on top because you can see corner stickers of all colors. And then we've got adjacent on the bottom because we can't see any orange stickers on these three sides. So, um, and we can try to preserve some, well, the standard alg for this adjacent or opposite adjacent uh, is going to preserve our, a pretty good edge parity case. So 
um, because you can see we have these, this block here, this block here, this block here. So I think we're going to end up with an adjacent adjacent. Uh, let's see. Oh, adjacent opposite. Close enough. And um, this is just a pretty easy alg. If you don't know it, you should learn it. Oh god, that's embarrassing. And then it flips the equator, so I guess I should have canceled into that, but yeah, I'm not used to doing that on that alg yet, so before the last slice, do a D2, because this is already, this this top layer is already solved, no AUF, so you don't want to have to do like three sixes on that layer. So six on the bottom, slice, six on the bottom, slice, and then we just have a, a DF. This is not a nice case, but it's useful to know how to do it. Um, I think if you're trying to get really good at cube shape, you should check out, just look up optimal cube shape on Google, and there's a page that Andrew Nelson wrote up about optimal cube shape, and the least optimal case is, um, how would I do it from here? It's one slice away from this. I think it's, no, no. I'm not good at setting these cases up. Well, whatever. Um, it's kite square, and I think that's one slice away from this. I just don't want to take the time to figure it out now, but um, that's a really fast case, and so if you know how... it, it that The first step that kite square breaks into is these opposite fists, and so that the next step is it breaks into a kite and then two edge pairs like that, and then um, I think it goes to that. And then you take this, you've got these two edge pairs on top and this L shape on the bottom and you wanna make a, uh, oh, this is called shield. Yeah, the two edge pairs, I just remembered. <laughs> okay, yeah, you wanna make shield square out of it. So I'd go like that. Shield square is one slice away from similar fists like that. And then that kite kite then cube shape is solved. Sorry if I didn't explain that very well, but I'm still not super good at that case. But yeah, that's the optimal way to do fist fist, the, the opposite fists. Um, I would do cube, or a seal like this. And then we've got the, the line adjacent. Um, yeah, this is nice. CP, we can just immediately move into it. It's pretty obvious, two bars in front. And then we've got W, or adjacent on top, W bottom. So um, I don't know the alg for this either. It's not immediately something I would learn. I don't know that much CP, obviously, but I would put the, a W is comprised of like two opposite edges, two adjacent edges, and we have an adjacent on top. So I would just fix the adjacent on bottom while fixing the adjacent on top. And then it would leave us with an H perm on bottom. And I would just immediately break into that H perm. And then AUF ADF. Okay, hopefully you like that. Uh, if you have any critiques and you're faster than me, definitely let me know. All right.